In the beginning, the world was in total darkness. The world was so dark that you couldn't see a hand in front of your face. The raven, who had existed from the beginning of time and whose feathers were white as the first fallen snow, was tired of groping about and bumping into things in the dark. Eventually, the raven came upon the home of a powerful chief who lived alone with his daughter. Through his slyness, the raven learned that the chief had a great treasure. This was all the light in the universe, the stars and the moon contained in ornate bentwood boxes. At once, the raven vowed to steal the light. He thought and thought and finally came up with a plan. He waited until the chief's daughter came to the great river to gather water. Then, the raven changed himself into a single hemlock needle and dropped himself into the river, just as the girl was dipping her water basket in. As she drank from the basket, she swallowed the needle. It slipped and slithered down into her warm belly, where the raven transformed himself again, this time into a tiny human. After sleeping and growing there for a very long time, at last the raven emerged into the world once more, this time as a tiny human infant. Maybe it was the darkness or the overwhelming love that the chief had for his grandson, but the chief nor his daughter recognized the baby's long nose or the little patches of feathers. Regardless of the love the chief had for the baby, he threatened dire punishment if his grandson ever touched the precious bentwood boxes. Nonetheless, the raven child begged and begged to be allowed to hold the contents for just a moment. In time, the great chief yielded and lifted from the first box a bundle of glowing stars. He let them swarm about the room like thousands of fireflies. The chief did not realize that when he released the stars that they would begin to fly out of the smoke hole. Ravenchild was not impressed. He wished to hold the contents of the Bentwood box. The chief, trying to please his only grandson, opened the second box and released a glowing moon. Ravenchild was impressed for some time, tossing the moon about in the same way a cat plays with a ball of yarn. One throw was too hard, however, and the moon bounced right out of the smoke hole and landed among the stars in the sky. Ravenchild became very distraught at this time. Now he had lost the stars and the moon to the dreaded smoke hole. The chief, trying to calm his grandson one final time, pulled from the final bentwood box a warm and glowing sphere, which he handed to his grandson. As the light was moving toward him, the human child transformed into a beautiful, snow-white, shadowy bird form, wings spread open, ready for flight, and beak open in anticipation. As the beautiful ball of light reached him, the raven captured it in his beak. Moving his powerful wings, he burst through the smoke hole in the roof of the house and escaped into the darkness with his stolen treasure. Maybe it was the smoke from the smoke hole, or the fiery sun in Raven's beak, but Raven's beautiful white coat of feathers was turned coal black. Raven flew for miles and miles to release the sun into the sky for all of mankind. And that is how light, the stars, and the moon came into the universe.